On a warm summer night in Alexandria, Virginia, just across the Potomac River from Washington, hundreds of competitors prepare for a race. Don't get touched by zombies. Run really fast, don't get bit. Kill zombies. <laughs> <laughs> they call it Survive Alexandria. You have to keep your map all the way till the end of the race. And it is a giant game of zombie tag that spans nearly seven kilometers. Zombies, an American pop culture phenomenon, are dead bodies brought back to life through some supernatural event. They appear in countless horror films as the walking undead, and their primary source of food is said to be the brains of the living. Event organizer Salil Maniktala explains the game. Zombie tag is pretty simple. The idea of it is that we have a bunch of runners, then zombies tag runners, and as people are tagged, they become zombies too. The first people who make it to the end are the winners. The race covers Old Town Alexandria and is more about the living than the undead. This is about the community and about something kind of fun to do and pretty much free for, for people in a time when I think people kind of need something like this. The race is free, but optional donations benefit disadvantaged area youth. Donations right here for Big Brother Big Sisters. Take the donations, very good. People are really, they're excited. They're looking forward to it, and the uh, information was put out there pretty well. Donation. Some runners go solo, while others form teams and share strategies to bury the undead. I'm dressed to hide out. I'm just going to run, run and scream. Maybe try to climb stuff. Run with people slower than us. Ditch this guy and run fast. Yeah, I'm gonna be left behind. So. But some concede their future as the walking dead. We have no strategy. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out where the first checkpoint is. I don't. I decided I wasn't gonna be a runner for long. So go ahead and get ready to be a zombie. Yeah, I'm pretty much gonna be a uh, toast pretty soon. So that's why I was uh, all prepared. I'm gonna only last five minutes for sure. Technology keeps the living one step ahead. You gotta use technology <laughs> when fighting zombies. The undead, that's their weakness. They don't have 3G coverage. Their backgrounds differed. We do uh, aerospace, aerospace consulting. Uh, I don't even live here. I'm in North Carolina. But I love a good zombie movie, so I think it'd be fine. Uh, I heard it from him at work. My first time in D.C., never done this before. I don't know the area, but still I'm going to come out on top. And while hundreds tried. Uh, no, I got uh, chopped up against the gate and then forced to be converted. I got attacked by one really buff military guy. <laughs> I was ambushed, and it sucks. But I had fun. I got <laughs> surrounded and tried climbing up the side of a building. And that didn't work. Come on, Woo! No runner survived long enough to cross the finish line alive. Everyone's been tagged out so far. No one's reached it to the end. Still, organizers estimate that more than 1,000 runners, both living and undead, turned out for the race. That's a lot of donations for area youth and enough fun to raise the dead. Ah. From Old Town Alexandria, Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.